Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost! <laughs> I'm you, that is a true beast. I'm YouTube, famous now, available in 2018. The Taylor Dane edition. Blinded by the light. Cleaned up with the douche, and now I'm ready for the night. Boost. How many times when you were growing up did you sing lyrics to songs and you had no idea what you were talking about whatsoever? There were so many songs back in the day that I thought I knew the lyrics to. There was this one, I can't remember what it was. It's like a really old song like from the 60s. I mean really old from the 60s. And I swore in there forever it said Gina Jones in it. And then I knew the street, G I think not. I knew this drag queen back in the day. Oh my God, she did this wonderful version of Carnival by Gracie Slick, and her name was Gina Jones. She's still around performing too. Gina, hi, Gina Jones. I loved her so much. Back in the day, on Sundays, she lived with these three other drag queens here in Indianapolis, and they would have chilly Sundays, and we would go over there. Oh, just kiki. It was so much fun. I love those days. And then we would go out on Sunday nights, and they would do a show, and then we would all have so much fun. Oh, God, I miss those days. So anyway, she's probably watching this video, and she's like, somebody told me to watch this video because I got a shout out. Who is this old man? I don't know him. I don't know her. Who is she all day long? Don't care. So anyway, uh, Pee Pee would like to say a little hello. Hi, Pee Pee. He said, I heard we were talking about sunglasses today, and I had to come up on this video. He said, by the way, I do have my SAG card, and I do not consent to this film. <laughs> you don't consent to this film? He said, no, I am deciding to uh, start my own beauty guru channel. It will be called... PP's opinions. So anyway, stay tuned for that. I'm not starting another channel. PP is. It's called PP's opinions. No, that's not really coming. Anyway, today I was up in the hair salon. Do you guys go to the hair salon? Back in the day when I was uh, younger, my grandma she went to the beauty salon once a week. Okay. Now today we're always about she she bonkui kui these hair salons. You know, oh, do you love bonkui kui from a uh, Mad TV? Oh, I love her so much. But anyway. Everybody wants to go to these, you know, shishi bonkwee hair salons all day long. All, you know what I'm talking about? Pay $100, get your hair cut, bunch of Tom Fool, Hocus Pocus all day long, okay? And I do it too, right? But all these people pay all this kind of money. But back in the day, do you remember like the local beauty shop and there'd be like three old ladies working in there? Well, my grandma used to go in there once a week, right? She'd get her roller set and she'd get her nails colored red, always blood red, okay? Oh my lord, I lost a fan over that one. Guess she didn't like that color. Anyway, if you watch my vlogs, what you'll find out too is that, uh, this little secret, all right? I did not find this out until after my mother passed away. My grandmother was in prison twice. Twice for embezzlement. No, ma'am. Orange is the new black all day long. My grandma, she was a badass bitch. Okay, so anyway, love you, grandma. But she would sit there all day long. Now, I thought, okay, that my grandma might have been a dealer in Vegas because she could flip cards like nobody's business. She'd sit there and play solitaire for hours. Little did I know my grandma was up in the prison playing cards by herself all day long. No, I didn't know that. Nobody would mess with her either. Badass bitch, right? So anyway... What was I thinking about? I was, oh, I was up in the Chi Chi Kong Bob Quick Week. Anyway, I was up in the hair salon today getting my hair fixed, right? Because I'm going to Miami for Ultra Music Festival. Ultra Miami! 20th anniversary! Starting on Friday. I am so excited. So, anyway, I was like, get my hair done, all that kind of stuff before I go on vacation. So, while I was in there, mm -hmm. now I didn't buy these. These are the ones I've had for a while, okay? They had the Desi Perkins key sunglasses. Now, I'm such an idiot that I thought, now they're spelled Q-U-A-Y. So, of course, I thought they were spelled Quay for the longest time. And uh, I just, oh, I love my Quay sunglasses. I'd say that and people go, you mean your key sunglasses? I was like, well, I guess it is that, isn't it? Why do people always have to do that? I hate that all day long, right? It's like when somebody, like, they spell their name real weird, like B-R, like it's Brandy with two E's on the end of it. Listen, when I was younger, I wanted to do that. I tried so many ways to spell Peter, you know, P-E-E-T-E-R or P-E-H, none of it looked right, okay? I was so jealous of like the Brandies that could spell it with an I or two E's or all that kind of shit, okay? I just wanted so bad to spell my name something different, be different. I just, did you ever want to do that or change your name? Like in third grade, I wanted to change my name. And my mom goes, well, what do you want to change your name to? And I said, Max, I think I'm kind of a Max. And she goes, well, that doesn't have anything to do with your name. I said, I don't care. I want to be a Max. I can be whatever I wanted to be. Mom, you told me I could be whatever I want to be, and I want to be a Max. And she goes, well, you're going to stay a Peter, because that's how it's going to be. So anyway, but I was up in the salon, and I, I don't even know where I was going with all that. Never usually do. So anyway, I was, <laughs> look at these sunglasses, because they have all the new ones out. And I was like, oh, my God. Okay, so they have new ones that they just ordered in, and I need some new ones. I wanted the ones that have the blue frames on them, but they didn't have those. So... Now, let me tell you what's interesting about these, okay? 
Now, I have seen them online. I paid $45 for mine up in the salon, okay? But you can get them for like $100. On, don't do it. Just don't. And don't buy them on eBay because they're fakes. So we're going to talk about sunglasses in a second because my sunglass game, it's heavy, okay? Here, we'll just show you right now. Now, we're going to go through all these kind of sunglasses. Back in the day, if you watched my videos for a long time, these were my favorites, these Porsche Carrera sunglasses. Now, if I show, these were like 65, I got them. Now, if you look at them real close, though, they are so scratched and dirty that I should just probably throw them out. Now, let me show you uh, these that my dad, he bought my husband, Alex, and I matching ones for Christmas. My husband's going to wear them to Ultra Music Festival. Y'all seen those QVC ads at 2 o'clock in the morning where you can, like, they'll show, like, the mountain range, and then out of nowhere, they, you can see the guy just kind of sitting there? Yeah, look at these. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> now I'm that guy. So anyway, and it comes with all of these different lenses. You can put, in, oh, Lord. Oh, oh, thanks, Dad. But anyway, and then I got all kinds of sunglasses. I actually just pulled down the ones I have up in there. I have these Robert, Roberto Cavalli, Robert Cavalli, whatever his name is. I don't know. But anyway, I don't love these. These fall apart real easily. And then, oh, I have uh, these these are cheapies from Target, $10. I always have to do the aviators, okay? And for a long time, my favorite were these Ray-Ban aviators because they, I just love them so much. Now, these retail at like $120, 100 bucks, something like that. Okay, but the problem is that they fall off and they bend real easily. So, oh, I even have, hold on a second. I lost some of my sunglasses. Where did they go? Well, anyway, I got all kinds of sunglasses up here. I looked all over the place. Oh, there they are. They're sitting up in the kitchen. I have these Chanel's that my aunt gave me, too. These Chanel aviators. You've probably seen them in some of my pictures. But out of all of my sunglasses, okay, hands down, hands to God, I swear, out of all my sunglasses I own, even those ridiculous $500 Chanel aviators that I have in the kitchen, out of all of them, okay, these key Desi Perkins sunglasses that were $45 are my all-time favorites. They don't break. I am not nice to sunglasses, okay? I throw them on the seat of my car, on and on and on. These are probably the best sunglasses I have ever worn for the price in my entire life, okay? So now imagine my surprise. When I get up on the Reddit today, I mean, y'all just like to bitch and moan about nothing, don't you, over there? Now, I like to hear what y'all have to say most of the time, because sometimes I read it, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting, or, oh, I agree with that, or I hadn't seen that now, or something like that, right? Desi Perkins will be coming, well, it says Desi, will be coming out with new key sunglasses. And so it had quite a few comments, so I thought, well, let's just go in here and read it. Well, I mean, when J-Lo, et cetera, are wearing your shit, I'd be dragging it out, too, to be honest. I've got three pairs of her, uh, glasses, and then she tells her which one. They're sick. Okay, so I totally agree with that. And it was interesting because when I was in the Bon Cui Cui Chon Chui Chui Salon today, they had a sign up on top of there, and it said all the people that wore them. It was like J-Lo, well, Khloe Kardashian. With the whole Kardashians, we already know that, right? And all the beauty gurus got sent free key sunglasses, the Desi Perkin ones. And when I saw Manny Mua wear those sunglasses, seriously, right after I had seen Khloe Kardashian, because this was why I wanted them, okay? I ain't going to sit here and bullshit at all. Like, I make fun of these people and all that kind of stuff, but when it comes to trends, I, my, funny, my money ain't funny, okay? And when I saw Khloe Kardashian in those sunglasses, and they sat real down low on her, I was like, oh, no, ma'am, I want those. I want those sunglasses, right? I thought they were hot as shit. And then when I got online, and I found out they were 100 or something, and then I walked up in the Bon Cui Chon Chui Chui Salon, and they had them for $45, I was like, oh, no, no, I'm Khloe Kardashian. I had to have them. Best buy I have ever made. Hands down. I swear to you. I swear to you, okay? So I go in here, and these people said, how's the quality? And then this person says, I wear them almost daily, and blah, 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 blah. Well, then, th at first, it's not bad. I have Ray-Ban aviators, and there's no comparison. Don't get me wrong. I freaking love how oversized they are, but it's not very good quality for the price. Okay. I am 100% honest on my fucking channel. Those Ray-Ban aviators, I just showed them to you, okay? They're over here somewhere. They fall apart, they bend, they, no, they, you have to treat them so fragilely, you have to be so careful with them. Those key sunglasses, I, they're sitting over here on the chair right now just waiting for me to put on because they know that I look so love in them. You think I was Chloe Kardashian? You would know I wasn't Glitter Forever 17. So anyway, to support Desi, I did purchase a pair of Sahara's that recently launched, but I wouldn't buy another pair. Flimsy, feels cheap, and can definitely get the same thing for one-fourth of the price in an accessory store. One-fourth of a price. So for me, that would be $10. Well, I got those at Target, and they're junk, okay? They fell apart on me when I was trying to dance at Ultra. They fell off, and somebody stepped on them. I can't even believe they still work. Okay, 
Um, I was gonna ask if Key existed. Okay, wait. Um, yes, I bought one of Chrissy's pairs, and they're flimsy as fuck. Mine bent, and the mirror lens is scratched less than two months in. I'm like reading these, and I'm like, how do y'all treat your sunglasses? Like, what do you do with them, okay? You throw them into the bottom of a purse, and somebody even says that on here. Um, where does it say it? Agreed. I bought some in December, wore them once, and didn't even let them fall or put them in a bag or anything, and the reflective film scratched straight across the lens. So I took them back for a refund, got a different pair, silver reflective, and they were of a more delicate, fine metal construction. Took great care of them, and within a month, they were full of micro scratches and looked shitty. Can never buff them clean, and you can notice all the scratches. Now, let me tell you something that's real interesting about this, okay? I have owned these sunglasses. Do you see them? I have owned these sunglasses. I got them exactly a year ago, okay? I just used my sweatshirt that I wear every day in my vlog in my car to clean them off. There is not one scratch on those sunglasses, okay? I am not good with sunglasses. So I am not sure where all these people are coming up from this. But I'm not getting any free products. They ain't promoing me nothing. I wish. I w they should. Because I believe in their fucking products. And I'll sit there and sing it all day long. I just think people like to bitch and moan about stuff. I bought a pair because I think they look so gorgeous. But when I put them on, they were giant on my face. So I never wear them. Sucks because I would totally buy another few pairs. And I like that she did say this. They are huge. Like for me, because I got a fuller face. Okay, that means I'm chubby. But I got a fuller face, right? So for me, they're perfect. And they hit down here. And they're so comfortable. They're the most comfortable sunglasses I've ever had in my entire... Hands, I mean, seriously. Okay. So, I mean, I understand it, but for some people, like my friend Tanya, she put them on. She's like, oh, no, man, this, these are too big for me. I couldn't wear these. I feel you, sis. Big ass head. I've worn a few of my guys, friends, boyfriends hats, and they're fucking stuff cut my head. How the fuck is my, what is she talking about? Oh, I got a big fat head, too, so I understand that. I love Desi, but I cannot justify $100 CAD for these. They're such poor quality. I'd rather get a nice pair of well-made Tom Fords for not more than that at cost price. What? Tom Ford's, first of all, are probably two or three hundred dollars more than that. And um, pause, please. For the purpose of this video, I just want to be thorough, okay? Here are my Chanel aviators. Do you see them? Now, I love the case, but look at them, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you guys, true story. Don't be looking at all this Chanel stuff on the side, okay? That's that's the bon quick we Sean Tree Tree stuff we all pay for, right? Now, which ones do you all like better, honest to God? These... Okay, let me tell you what the price point was on these, okay? These were $475. 45 I don't even think it... I think it's a no-brainer to me. 45 475 Thank you, Aunt Kathy. I love that I own a pair of Chanel aviators that I hardly ever wear unless I go to something important because I want to look my best. But quite frankly, I think I look better in these. So I'm not real sure what all these people are bitching and moaning about. But listen, if you have never owned a pair of these sunglasses, I'm going to tell you right now, and this ain't even a review. This is like everybody asks me to do makeup reviews and sunglasses reviews all day long. But listen, when you're as big as I am, you can afford to buy shoes, watches, and sunglasses. And that's what I spend my money on. <clears throat> but I swear by these sunglasses. I don't know how these gals are... What are they doing? Just ripping these sunglasses to shreds? But I swear on these things, okay? I swear on them. I love them. I will only probably continue to buy them as long as they're around because they're my favorite sunglasses. Now, I won't be spending money on a bunch of this other junk. Why would you anyway if you have such nice sunglasses that are only $45? So anyway, do you think that people are just ripping her to shreds? Okay, and then the other th comment that most people said in there is, do something new, do something new, do something new. Well, Toddy tried the vitamins. Nobody liked that. Laura Lee's coming out with a new palette. Oh, she's doing another palette, you know? Desi Perkins was successful with sunglasses. Do something new. I mean, God, everybody's just a bunch of complainers. Can we ever just be happy? I love the collab that she has with CK... Bonk week week. I love the collab that she has with Key Sunglasses. Why can't we give props where props are due? Why do we always, always have to complain about something? I just don't understand it. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.